Hey guys, I want to help you a little bit on the GLE 8 Lesson 7 Extended Response, which is the, I believe, historical text. Um, so I'm going to read the extended response question and then show you a way to organize your response so that you have everything you need. It says to analyze how on women's right to, to the suffrage by Susan B. Anthony and women win the vote, present the topic of women's suffrage. Address the following questions in your response. Is each text a primary or secondary source? What information is provided in each source? What is the main idea in each? How and why are the texts alike and different? And in what ways does the author's point of view and purpose affect how the information is presented? This gives you questions um, that might not be presented in the best order to organize them in your paper. So I just want to give you a way to do it that you can fit your information together logically. Um, so up here, I have that I want three body paragraphs in this response because it really is asking for a lot and you have two different texts to consider. So for the first two, I wrote the names of the two passages because in order to discuss um, the third bullet point down, um, you really do need to provide background information on each of these pieces. Okay, assume that, as you would in any essay, the person reading it has not read any of the same things that you have. You have to provide them that background information. So I want you to dedicate each of the first two body paragraphs to each of these pieces, okay? Um, so in these paragraphs, I want you to answer whether it's primary or secondary. This is one thing you need to do based on the prompt. It also asks for the main idea. And then the point of view, which I'm going to just use POV. And purpose okay so while you're presenting um, whether it's a primary or secondary source you'll probably be able to address the point of view because um, especially if it's primary and it it, it it oh my goodness it's the source that comes from firsthand experience you're gonna be describing that point of view right off the bat okay so for each of these discuss those three things and then since you have that already done you can refer back to your first and second paragraph in your third body when you discuss how and why they are alike or different Okay, you might have a slightly different way that you want to organize this, um, but I give you this as a suggestion because it is one way to include all the details that this prompt is asking you to.